ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. My name is Jeffy Karin Norieta. In today's video, I would like to explain you about complaining. So, what is complaining? According to Oxford Dictionary, complain is statement that situation is unexpected or unacceptable. So, how to make complain politely? So, the first step is speak to the right person. Make sure you are speaking to the right person who can help you. For example, could I speak to your manager or maybe you can say, could you tell me your position and your name please? At this point, just don't forget to ask question first to check who actually you are talking to and take a note. And second, and the second step is be politely and don't blame the person. Before you state the problem, please stay calm as possible. Don't blame the person you are calling because it will not help you in every situation. Just focus on the problem, not the person. And the three steps is state the problem clearly and calmly. When you state your complaint, just don't forget to include as much relevant detail as possible, including names, places, times, address, person, times, and etc. You can say, I need to make complaint or I'm, if, I'm afraid I'm not satisfied with. So that's a sentence. If your statement doesn't clear, you can say some adjective words or an adverb word to support your statement. For example, extremely, very, absolutely, totally, completely, slightly, unprofessional, unacceptable, unsuitable, and etc. You can and the first step is asking their solution and action. It means that state exactly when you want the person you are calling to do and you can say the small words for example like i like you to do and the expression will help you to set out your expectation to solve the problem and the five steps is confirm when your expectation will be met you can use sentence for example like could you let me know when will you get back to me and this point is just to check when you can expect the result or feedback from the person you are speaking to. So let's say it's like follow up. And the sixth step is the most important thing is don't forget to say thank you. You can say thanks for your helping and there's your thanks for your listening to me. And that's the six steps for how to make complaint politely. Just like the lesson on making complaints politely, responding to complaint is like a delicate situation that must be handled correctly. If not, then you risk losing a long-term client or your new customer, your new friend, or your new partner. In America, the customer is always right. What about in your country? Is this also true? And I bet Indonesia is also true. If so, that it is necessary to know how to make upset customer to be happy again. So how to respond complaint politely? For the number one step is listen. We have to listen. We know that the customer is angry, upset, mad, disappointed, and etc. And I know this is not fun, but it is necessary to listen to their problem carefully. Just like we listen to our best friend. We can use small words and show that we understand them. You can say, hmm, I understand. Or maybe you can say, yes, I see. So after that, you can summarize their point. For example, you can say, I'd like to summarize the situation to make sure I understand everything correctly. So yeah, that's the number one step. So yeah, that's the number one steps. And the second number steps is apologize. This is the most important thing and most difficult step because your customers want an apology more than anything like sensory apology. For example, you can say, I'm really sorry to hear that. I understand how difficult, frustrating that would be. Or maybe you can say, I'm really sorry. We're going to solve this quickly as possible to take care of it right away. So the third step is second action. This step is to make customer loyal and satisfied with us is how we deal with complaints and how we find the solution and fast respond to solve the problem. We can use small words or small sentence like, let me discuss this with my manager and get back to you later with, and get back to you later today with solution. For the number four step is follow up. After you resolve the problem, follow up is to make sure the customer is satisfied with us. 
You can follow up with quick phone call or email message. You can ask some question or statements to check on your customer and make sure everything is okay. For example, was the problem resolved successfully? Or maybe you can say, is there anything else we can help you again? Or maybe you can say, did everything work out with the solution to the problem? Please let us know how we can help you if any other issues. So that's the number four steps follow up. So I think that's all for the steps how to respond complain politely. So yeah, I think that's all for me. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.